right, is a Goodreads giveaway worth it? Let's talk about this. I'm gonna get into what a Goodreads giveaway is in a second, and we're gonna talk about if it's worth it, but first of all, I should probably just say, I really, really wanna try one. I have gotten the bug to try it, and so, spoiler, I am going to set one up in this video today. Get ready for that if you're excited, but first, let's talk about what it is and if it's worth it. Okay, so first of all, Let's pull up the Goodreads page and I'm gonna screen record so I can show you here. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's basically a giveaway run by Goodreads on Goodreads and at the end of it, you send the readers who entered your book and the idea is that I think everybody who enters has to add it to their TBR and then I think they get notified. Well, they get notified if they win, obviously, but they get notified if they don't win as well and then maybe that incentivizes them to buy it. I don't know. We're gonna talk about if it's worth it in a second, but let's look into it. I'm learning along with you guys. So it says it's a powerful way for authors and publishers to promote their books, right? And that you can give away up to a hundred print books, which if you have the budget for that, I mean, good for you, but that's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. A hundred Kindle eBooks would be easier because I know how to give them away for free, but it'd be a lot of work. And I don't know if you could get away with giving them away for free through something like this. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's look at the side here. First thing right here, it says giveaway features in friends newsfeed when someone enters. So you're getting like free promo. If somebody's like, yeah, I'm going to enter that. Then it shows up on the newsfeed. But how often do people look at newsfeeds? That's what I'm not sure about. The next thing is that you'll get an email notification to the author's followers and readers who have marked the book as want to read. Ooh. Okay, so an email notification is definitely better if you have your email notifications turned on. I used to, and I used to get so annoyed with them, so I found out how to turn them off, so I wouldn't get those. Goodreads reminds winners to review the book. I mean, that's good, but would you pay $119 for one review? I wouldn't. Premium listing on the giveaway section of Goodreads. I mean, that's nice, but who goes there? And where is it? And have you seen it before? Have I seen it before? I don't think I've seen that before. But maybe people go there, I don't know. And then a personalized email sent to everyone who doesn't win the giveaway, there. That's what I think is going to be the value because hopefully, hopefully it's gonna gain a lot of traction. We're gonna talk about that in a second. But what I'm thinking is during the length of the giveaway, I don't see it making you money. I don't see it selling books because if you're entering a giveaway for a free book, you're not gonna then go and buy that book, right? That it doesn't make sense. So during the time frame of the giveaway, I don't see any extra book sales coming in. But afterwards, for everybody who doesn't win, then I could see that being like, oh, okay, well, I still wanna read this, so maybe I'll go buy it. So that's what it is, but let's talk about why it might be effective. Okay, so back when Goodreads giveaways used to be free, which was a few years ago now, and then they made them paid, but they used to be free, I actually had a giveaway. So let me show you, if you go to your Goodreads, um, author dashboard, that's where I have it at least. I can see what I've done. I just scroll down past the books and I can see my giveaways right here. So I've done two giveaways in the past back when it was free in 2017 and 2018, right before it became paid pretty much. And so as you can see here, a few hundred people requested it. And this is back when I had not the greatest cover because I didn't really know what I was doing yet. And I, it was my debut novel. I was brand new. Like literally I had not a lot going for me and still I had 500 to 600, um, almost 700 people sign up to join this giveaway. So what I'm thinking is now that I'm a little more experienced, I have a bigger following. Hopefully I could get at least twice that much. Like I'm thinking maybe a range, totally guessing here, of somewhere between like 1,000 to 2,000 entries would be really cool. But again, like I don't know. I have no experience to go on. So this is a risk, but I really wanna do it. I'm basically, I'm making a bit of an impulse decision. I'm blaming the pregnancy hormones here. <laughs> <laughs> Not really though, like yes, I make fast decisions, but I do run them through a list of like, is this gonna have, you know, good ROI? Is it worth the risk? Like how much am I willing to spend? Is it within my budget? I do kind of go through this checklist and make sure, am I comfortable if this didn't make money? Is it still worth it to me to give it a shot? Sometimes the answer is no, but in this case, I feel like I've wondered for so long. And because of the fact that The Secret Gift was published on such a good budget, like if you want to, I'll pop those videos below for how much I published The Secret Gift 4 and then my release blog, I shared my ROI and how I made all my money back before release. Because of that, now I have money coming in from the release where I can put that back into the book. Now, obviously I don't wanna just keep rolling all income back into the book. That's never gonna be my goal. But I think that $119, while to me that's really steep, 
like really steep in my opinion after a free giveaway I still think it might be worth it so this is this is kind of my thought process just do the math with me here so if I have say double ish this amount somewhere between a thousand to two thousand people go ahead and sign up for this giveaway and then like we said Goodreads will actually email everybody who doesn't win so that's like a thousand to two thousand people getting an email like I don't know a month from now we'll figure that out in a minute <laughs> and being told like hey so you didn't win but this book is only $2.99 as an ebook do you want to read it or do you want to get the paperback? You know what I mean? On social media, they say the average conversion rate is like, it's really low. It's like 2%, okay? So what is the conversion rate for Goodreads? I have no idea. So there's some factors here that I just don't have to put into my calculation, but let's say it is 2% and it was 2,000 people. Okay, I was right. I just had to check. I had to literally Google it and check. So 40 purchases. And like you saw in my latest videos, which again, I will link those below, I kind of shared how how much money I make per book, the royalty, depending on where people buy the book. So it's kind of a range from like two something to five something. And so let's just go with like $3 average. So let's say 40 people times $3 buy the book. That's $120. That's kind of crazy. That's like literally the cost of the Goodreads giveaway. Okay. So that makes me feel better. However, let's go back and look at the giveaways again. So let's click right here, listing a giveaway. And that's going to bring us here to this page where I already kind of took a look at this. And basically you have the option to do Kindle, which again would be a lot cheaper or print books. We have to factor in print books if we're really gonna do this right. So tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to KDP and I'm gonna go ahead and click order author copies. And then let's see here. Goodreads says you can give anywhere from one to 100. And I think that's kind of insane. Like a hundred copies, there's no way. There's no way I, I can't afford that. I was thinking to myself, one copy would be great. But in my research, as I was kind of reading up on people who have done Goodreads giveaways, they said aim for 10. I was thinking maybe more like five copies. I don't know yet. Let's see what 10 costs just to see. This right here is actually not bad, but keep in mind there's no shipping on this yet. This is just the book. So it's about $30 and this is a skinnier book. So it's nice because it prints cheaper. So that is nice for me. But again, like it says right here, this does not include shipping and taxes. So once I put it in my Amazon cart, it's gonna be at least probably 10 more dollars. So let's say 40 bucks or so for shipping. Then once everybody wins, I have to ship all 10 copies individually. And that, if I remember right, my media mail is typically somewhere between two to $4. Since this book is cheaper, let's say that it's $3 per book. So that would be $30. So we have our $120, but we have to add to that the plus 40, it's probably gonna be more like 45 for the 10 books to be shipped to me, printed and shipped, and then plus shipping all those books to each individual person. I forgot to factor in, I have to have mailers, although I've been saving up mailers from like my Amazon groceries and <laughs> random Amazon packages that get sent to me. So I probably can get away with that, but I wanna buy some nice wrapping and obviously you gotta like factor in just tape and the Sharpies and it's all these little things that you don't think about, but they add up. So let's say 35 and we'll add that up, $200. And so that was the giveaway, 120 basically for the giveaway, plus the buying the books, 10 books, and shipping all those books is exactly $200. Okay, so it's feeling a little more risky to me. Well, let me just take my average royalty, which was again, somewhere around about three bucks. And let's just divide that by $3. So that's now 66 books that I need to sell to make my money back. That doesn't seem like the worst plan, but it's not a guarantee. I can't guarantee it. This is where I've done all the math that I can do, but I still don't really know for sure. There's no guarantee, no promise. So like the giveaway could go better than expected. I could have thousands upon thousands of people enter and then obviously that 2% conversion rate of people who end up buying would go up just by exposure and how many people see the book. Or it could be that Goodreads giveaways have gone down in exposure since my one time or two time experience and it might not be that effective. So it's still a risk no matter how much math I do. That was my long winded kind of walkthrough of is it worth it? But now let's go ahead and set it up because I mean, like you just saw, I don't know for sure if it's gonna be worth the risk or not. There's really only one way to find out, but I've decided that I am okay with taking the risk, if that makes sense. So let me know if you're excited. I'm excited. We're gonna go ahead and start setting up a giveaway and I'm gonna show you kind of what it looks like and I'm gonna share some of what I've picked up in my research for what works better-ish, we'll see. Like I said, I don't actually know yet. We're gonna find out. To get to the Goodreads giveaways page, in case you don't know, you actually go to browse and then it's right there, 
giveaways. And then under this, you can actually see all the giveaways that are going on right now that are about to end, featured, recent, popular. Like I don't actually go here, but now I might, now that I'm thinking about it. Because honestly, why not? It helps other authors. And if I ever actually won, I'd be super excited. <laughs> For an author though, you're gonna go over to this right here where it says, list a giveaway. That brings us back to the page I was just on. And then you'll see there are a couple options. So there's Kindle book giveaway and there's print book giveaway. And they do give you tons of advice here, but I just want to point out, let me go back to my author dashboard. Oh, I found it right here. So on your author dashboard, there is a Goodreads giveaway guide. They give you some extra tips. They're helping you start out strong, hopefully. So like it says here, there's two ways to get to the Goodreads giveaway. You can go to your author dashboard or just go straight to the giveaways from the homepage. And then the next thing that they talk about is like the different packages. So you guys, saw me do the math for the standard package which is 119 and then they have a premium one that's like $600 why why would anybody do that so you know it gives you a how-to but let's just go for it let's just dive in and do it I'm gonna do print book that's more because it's my genre so don't feel like you have to do that but in my genre literally just two weeks ago when I released my book I had three times as many paperback sales as I did ebook sales so I know that my readers want a physical book it's just what the YA a fantasy genre is like. So I'm gonna choose print book. This is actually really interesting. I'm gonna read through this quick. So the only difference between the standard and the premium one is that you get a premium listing on that page, that giveaway page that we just looked at, which again, I've never been there before. So have you been there before? Let me know in the comments. But then the other one is a personalized email sent to everyone who doesn't win. Oh, shoot. So that's not part of the standard package. Well, that puts a kink in my plans. So the entrants are still required to add the book to their want to read list. So I guess it's there. Depending on the person, you could have these people who are like, I use Goodreads all the time and I check my TBR and I do this and I do this. And then you could have people who probably are more along the lines of me and just add all kinds of books to your TBR and then forget they're there. It's featured in a news feed, so the exposure is going to be good in theory. Emails are gonna be sent to the author's followers and readers who have marked the book as want to read. Goodreads reminds the winner, oh, 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 it's gonna be 10 winners, not just one winner. So that's better. What do I wanna do? I think I can do 10 because I looked at that budget and I think it'll be fine. So you're definitely getting exposure and I do feel fairly confident about the exposure side. I just don't know about the ROI, the return on my investment. Will I make my money back? There's really no way to know. I've done the math. I think it is possible. I just don't know. Do you wanna know? Should we find out together? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I've made my decision. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the standard option. The first thing is when to start and when to end the giveaway. I was doing some research and they were saying you can go as long as like a few days or a month. Let's look at the guide here because it does have a couple things. So first of all, you have to do at least three days out. So I can't do tomorrow. And second of all, you don't wanna go too far out into the future. So I'm actually going to do this for less than a week from now because I want it to be live when this video comes out. FYI, it's going to be linked below. And I'll talk about that more once I figure it out and make sure it actually works. Here's the other thing. They say pro tip, make sure it's at least seven days and no longer than 30. They recommend 30 days, but other things that I was reading online was recommending three weeks. And I'm like, I don't know. Like normally for me, I feel like a one week giveaway is a really happy place because you have enough time to promote it, but people don't get bored and forget about it. But the first thing, I know I want to pick a start date. So let's start there. Today is the 18th and I want this video to come out probably on next Thursday, the 23rd. And so then I would want to make sure the giveaway is live by at least the 22nd, maybe the 21st to be safe. Let's see if it'll let me do the 21st. Okay. I think it will. It's putting in the dates for me. Do I want to do that though? What's October? third. That's not even two weeks. That doesn't seem right. Two weeks would be the fifth. Three weeks would be the 12th, which is actually <laughs> funny enough when the marketing book comes out. So I don't want to end it on that day. So let's save the whole four weeks, maybe the 19th. I don't think there's any right or wrong answer. I don't want to pay $200 for two weeks instead of four weeks. I might as well do the full four weeks. So let's see how they feel about the 18th. This is easy. The book came out on September Seventh. Okay, we need an ISBN number. Okay, and then available to entrance in the US and Canada. Oof, 
Oof, oh my gosh. So in the US, like I said, media mail, so $3 per person makes it 30 bucks. But if say every winner was from Canada, I think it's like 20 something to send a package. It's really crazy. Like I haven't done it in a while, but I remember when I went in, I was like, are you serious? How much is it? I think it's either 15 or 20, somewhere in that range. Say it is the low end 15 times 10 people, $150 instead of $30. I want to include Canada, you guys. I want to, I love you, I do. I I just, I can't, I can't justify it for this very first giveaway. If giveaways go well, I might do another one and then I would definitely cut you in. But honestly, I hope you'll understand. I think I gotta do US only. Number of copies, we decided 10 is doable. It does not contain mature content. Custom message to readers. <gasps> Okay, let's let's go ahead and look at our Goodreads description here. Does it teach me anything about that? Oh, okay. Descriptions are typically written in third person. You have 150 words to hook readers in on the page listing. No pressure. All right, we're at 131 and I'm not really sure what else to add. I hope it's good. That did not work out at all. So it wasn't 150 words, it was characters, really. Really good reads. You said words, good reads. You told me words. I did all the work and you're telling me, yeah, it's definitely characters. <laughs> well, that sucks because now I was kind of excited about this. You know what though, the, like the about the book is supposed to be what sells it most. Like I love the reader stuff, but see if I can do a shorter version. I mean, that's, that's all I got. Like I would love to put in the reader quotes cause I got so excited about them, but there's no room. Okay, so it's young adult. Is that the primary? Or would it be fantasy that's the primary? Probably fantasy. Let's flip that around. Contact information. Okay. All right, I'm gonna click next. <sighs> It's getting real. Please verify that the giveaway details are correct and then proceed to payment. Okay, so I'm committing to 10 print books, you guys. And here are the dates. I am a big believer in messy action over waiting for perfection. So if I just like waited to do this perfectly, I'd never do it. Honest to goodness, I'm probably making some mistakes. If you see them, you can always let me know, but I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm paying 119 for this. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm obviously not gonna show you the payment screen, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I did it. It's live. Here it is. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm so, I'm a little freaked out. By the time this video goes live, this Goodreads giveaway will be live. You can go ahead and click the link below and I'll also put it in the, um, like a pinned comment so that you can easily find it. But oh my goodness, I am nervous. I hope you guys will enter because if you saw it, every entry will like alert all of your friends on Goodreads. So it helps me out. It spreads the word. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And I'm freaked out because I have like no control over this. So they have to approve it first. But once it goes live, it's going to be live the 21st through October. What did I say? 18th, I think. Oh yeah, right there. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Said to send the giveaway prizes within two to three weeks. So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to order the books right now. <laughs> and I'm going to order those plus the books for the Storygram tour that I want to do later on and hopefully save on some shipping and maybe, I don't know, maybe I will even order a few copies for my website to do like a tiny, like a website drop, so to speak. <laughs> of signed copies let me know would you want that let me know in the comments um but oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm nervous i hope it goes well obviously i'm not going to know until um not october because i have to see the results after that so maybe end of october early november i might do a follow-up video and let you know the results and how it went if you're interested let me know in the comments but yeah <sighs> Thank you in advance so much for adding it to your TBR and like just literally if you join this giveaway It takes like one minute to click that button and click enter giveaway And then you're spreading the word to all of your friends about it and they might enter too So it really does help me a lot literally just clicking to enter a giveaway believe it or not is gonna help spread the word So thank you in advance and I guess we'll find out how it goes in that follow-up video So until then I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye Okay, so today's video, wait, hold on. Something's not right here. <laughs> Thank you for helping mama test out the shot. Okay, I think we got it. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's no hiding it now. 
Okay. I'm sorry, Penny, that shot just wasn't good. We need a better angle. How's that? That's better. Penny, you're so much shorter than me. I didn't think about that.